So we left off with our basic formatting. We had done pretty much everything that we wanted to do. We centered all our percentage columns. Now, even though it doesn't tell you to, I think I am going to go ahead and select the range uh, F6 through F13. And what I want to do is I want to set this up so that it is right justified. And then I'm going to increase the indent twice so that I have a nice centered column. Do you see the difference between doing this and centering it? So if I undo all of those steps and I say, well, I'll just center it. Now look at this column. See how the number five is right below? Well, it's centered relative to 25. But if you look at this percentage, it's centered, but as a number should be, the column has the smaller numbers to the right. See how that looks a little different? That's why we do write justify and then indent twice. Oops, it didn't do the write justify. There we go. So you can see the difference between center and write justify. So numerically, <clears throat> we want the numbers to be all the way to the right. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to right click sheet one, and I'm going to select move or copy from the menu that comes up. And I'm going to click create a copy and then OK. So now I've got two sheets here. And if I want, I can drag sheet one behind sheet two. There's really no reason to do it because they're identical right now. Uh, but in this case, they did want us to do that. I'm going to right click sheet one and I'm going to rename the tab September then I'll click sheet 2 and I'll right click and rename that tab formulas and then I'll press enter And then on page 466 of our text, on the formulas tab, I'm going to do the control grav key so I can see the formulas. Okay? I don't need all this extra space here though. Now they did give us specific column sizes on letter G on page 466, but I'm going to keep it easy. I'm going to hover my mouse between the A and C columns and just do a double click. And then hover my mouse between the C and D columns. And when I see those two arrows pointing away from each other, do a double click. And then on D, I'll do a double click. And between E and F, and F and G, between G and H, 
and I and J. I suppose I could do, yeah, the one between I and J as well. And now I'm going to save again. And now you can see the sheet is much more compressed as far as the room. So you don't have to scroll back and forth to read it. And the next steps I'm going to do, it's really important that you hold down the control key and click the September sheet so both of the sheets are highlighted. So if one sheet is highlighted, one is gray, the other is white. If I hold down the control key, both of them become white. Now, I can do changes and it will now change both of the tabs. So if I go to page layout, the tab up here at the top, and go to orientation, I will make it landscaped. And then I will click margins. And I'm going to go all the way down to custom margins. And I'm going to click center on page horizontally. I'm going to change the top margin to be one inch. Then I'm going to click the page tab and I'm going to click the fit to one page is wide by one page is tall. So normally we want our spreadsheet to all fit on one page provided it isn't too big. Because the more content you have in your sheet, the smaller the text will appear on the page. This one will be fine, however. If I want to check it, I can click Print Preview. And it'll show me a preview of my report. And it looks really good. So I'll click the back arrow. And on page 467, on the Insert tab, and depending on the resolution of the computers you're on, I'm looking for header and footer. So I'm going to click header and footer. And it gives me a very different view. And I can enter some information here. And it has some stuff up here so I can hover the mouse over it. The first thing I'm going to enter right in the center is sheet name. And if I click on the left header, I can enter my name. In your case, you'll enter your name. So you're the producer of this document. In the right hand box, we want to enter uh, a code which we could manually type in or we can select the file name option right here. And I'll press save again. Now notice what it did with the file name. It is calling the file name it is calling the this field the name of the document. 
So right now it's called Excel Tutorial. If I click File and Save As, and change this to, oh, let's say, I'm going to change the title of my document to Monthly Sales Report and save. You see now up here how it is calling the sheet name, well not the sheet name, the, the entire workbook name, the monthly sales report. So it changes it to correspond to the name you give your document. So I'm going to click on a cell in the workbook. And if we were to look at this in print preview mode, So if I did file, print, I can look at my preview here. And I can look at the second page, which are the formulas. And I'm going to go back. And it says that you should click normal mode right here. So here is the mode we were looking in where we can see the header and the footer. Everybody see that on the bottom in the status bar? And then I can click normal mode. And the sheet looks like it was when we were working on it originally. So once you've done that, This is actually completed and it's ready to be submitted. So I'll do one more save. And then I'm going to close the sheet. And you are ready to submit the sheet.